The Kiwak Origins of the Cryptid, Abenaki, Ojibwe, Mekanik, others. In the mythology of many cultures, there once was giant man-eaters, half-animal, half-humanoid. They kept the land from people to become civilized. They ate all the bisons and all the caribou. Starvation awaited anyone traveling eastward. They were tall enough to catch flying ducks and they were never known to be able of speech. Their habitat is humid thick forest at this time in the east of what we call Quebec right now. And so then legend goes. The great hero Gluskap also named Gluskabe, Gluskab, Gluskabe, Gluskab. Kluskamba, or Gluskab made strong by his grandmother's magic the great sorceress Agaska drove down the Kiwata to the bowel of the mountains where they were forced to eat each other shrink and adapt to darkness. Right Agast's encounter there is one thing everybody should know about eastern Quebec. It is placed on top of the oldest mountains of North America. This is why there is no pointy peaks on top of our mountains. They are eroded to the state of gigantic mounds full of resources. So the people of Quebec dug a lot into them. But not anymore. This is why. There is many cave systems beneath those mountains and the oldest ones in America. But there is a handful of them that you can actually visit. I already talked on the show about the abandoned and flooded mine near my land. I found a little hole that give into a cave or a mine shaft at the border of my land and saw those light. Those green cold light that only show teeth just like an anglerfish. They don't make any sounds, they just move under there looking for food and they will eat anything that fall into those holes. According to the legend, they come out about a decade apart, and the clock is ticking. The mine was flooded in 2013 when it passed hands from Marble Exploitation Company to a wood cutting mill owned by a local. I will update if I see something else.